Today we're going to be looking at Portainer in opposition to Dockage. I like Dockage for beginners. I think it's really good and really simple, but Portainer has been around longer and it's got way more functionality. So I'm going to do an install today and just show you guys Portainer instead of Dockage. So I'm going to come in here and do configs. We're going to do another directory here. I'm going to add data set just for Portainer. Uh, set this to apps. Okay, so there is my Portainer data set, and these are all my users. So we're good, so let's go over here to apps. I'm actually going to stop you momentarily. Okay, let's go over here to discover apps, and we're going to Portainer. Okay. You'll notice now, for some reason, like these, this will happen occasionally with TrueNOS. They're doing something on their back end, so we're not able to reach their server, which is why we can't see all the pretty pictures. But it should be okay. We should still be able to do this. You want to go with Community Edition? Okay, no environment variables is fine. We'll keep that there. Ooh, what's this new feature called Tunnel? That's cool. <laughs> not worried about that. Data storage, we're going to point to our new data set. Okay, that should be all we need. Let's run, let's run this install. Okay, we are up and running. It looks like we're up and running. Let's take a look here. It says we're listening, so let's take a look. I'll just stop. Let's see if we can get a web UI here. Now, this is normal. This is what you should see. Now, Portainer runs on its own HTTPS. So you'll see here that it, instead of just going to HTTP, it does go to HTTPS. We won't accept the risk because it's normal. It's totally fine. Um, they're going to make you do a huge password here um, because they have this. I'll show you how to turn that off, but long story short, they want really secure passwords, which is fine. I want to uncheck that box. I'm going to use my password generator off the screen to generate just some kind of long string of nonsense. That, okay. Very long, secure password. We're going to create this user. We are going to get started like that. We are going to click our local. Now, what you're going to see here is everything that's going on. So, this is picking up everything that's going on on the TrueNOS instance. So there's a lot of things here already. Look at all of this unused things. I don't need any of this. But there's this is what I'm talking about in terms of Portainer. There's a lot of unused things here taking up space that I wouldn't have seen on TrueNOS. You, I think you can see that here. If I'm over my apps, configuration, manage container images, here they are. So here's what we're seeing on Portainer. And this is the TrueNOS version. I actually like the Portainer version way better. Because the problem with TrueNOS is here, I can't tell what's in use and what's not. I'd have to look at this. Portainers is this really cool thing where when I look at my volumes, all these ones are unused. I could dump all of this. I don't need any of those things. They're just taking up space. But uh, there's cool things here for networks. You'll see that. You can't see that in TrueNOS. Images. Again, these are the ones that are all unused. They're just sitting on the system for no reason. There we go. So I'm only actually using one right now. All the rest of these are not doing anything as far as I know. But anyway, so that's, uh, we're not going to mess with that. Today I'm just going to show you something really basic. There's two screens you're going to look at. So when you come to your dashboard, there's really only two places you're going to go. Container and Stacks. So containers are what's running right now, which is Portainer. And Stacks are where we're going to add our Docker Compose files. So today I'm going to do a quick deployment. Let's come over here to, let's deploy something. Let's deploy Webmin, Watchtower, Kuma, MB. <laughs> Let's do WordPress. That's a pretty common one that a lot of people use. So we're just going to copy our whole Docker Compose file right here. Go to Portainer. I'm going to add a stack. I'm going to call this WordPress. Okay. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to paste my Docker Compose just like that. I'm not going to change anything at this point. This is just for demonstration purposes. Okay, that's cool. If you want to use environment variable or environment files, these are what, is where you do that down here. 
I'm not going to worry about that. I'm not going to touch anything else. I'm really just going to name my stack and just paste my Docker Compose file right here. Okay, the floor of the stack. Yep. Hold on. Oh, of course, here's why. Um, I should really change my volumes. There we go. I have to change that in the uh, Docker Compose file as well on the wiki. There you go. For the stack. That's my fault. I'm going to update the wiki right after this video. Here's something that I don't like about Portainer. Right now, you see it just says deployment in progress. Uh, at least in Dockage, it tells me what it's doing. Right now, you just kind of have to wait. Um, it's pulling images right now in the background. There we go. And WordPress is here. So now when I come to my containers, you'll see WordPress is here. WordPress is here. Uh, this is showing me the ports that it's published on. It's on 8081 right now. Uh, the database is here. So I can click into this WordPress and I can rename the container right from here. Shows me what's going on. Shows me all these things in the background. Again, there's a lot of things here that a lot of, I just don't think people are going to use very often. So if you want to start getting to more advanced Docker um, deployments, this is a great tool. I think this is the best tool for that because it really just gives you tons and tons of options. But for a beginner just deploying stacks, definitely start here. You have all your controls up here. We're here to containers, WordPress, 8081. See, that does the same thing. So we're going to come over here and we're going to jump to 8081. There we go. WordPress is running just like that. And you just do the basics to install WordPress here and it would be up and running. I have to make that change here and change these volumes. Uh, but that's Portainer. Now, one thing I want to show you is you're not going to, you're not going to see this on Shrunos. Say so it's just, just like Dockage where Portainer is running, but there's other Docker containers running here and you just don't see them. So that's the kind of challenge with doing some kind of container management system like Dockage or Portainer. You're only gonna see those in Portainer. I'm hoping they're gonna change that on TrueNAS because this should be able to pick up all the Dockers. Um, but like, for example, this should just be running basically a Docker PS and just showing me everything, but it's not. But I will show you what's going on. So here's everything that's running right now. Portainer is running, um, WordPress is running, and the WordPress database is running. 